All right, now we're going to be going over texturing. So um, I didn't change anything um, on this map from the last video we just went over, except for I added this little thing for an example. Um, there's really only one rule or guideline when it comes to texturing, and that is that the textures should fit on the geometry. All right, and this is going to take your better judgment to really understand. It's not really something set in stone. You're going to need to look at the texture and make sure it fits. Uh, so I have this little rectangle here, all right, uh, it is three cubes tall, uh, as you can see, um, instead of an even two, uh, and you can see what how that runs in, how we run into a problem with that. Um, let's go ahead and find a nice texture for an example. Let's see, what would work well? Let's, let's try this one, and let's rotate that. All right, so you can see that this does not this texture does not fit the geometry because we have one panel here the texture this is what I mean by where it comes into your better your judgment um, because we can see here on the thing on the texture that we got one panel here and we got half a panel all right the edge just kind of cuts off and so that's what I mean you don't want that um, your texture needs to fit the geometry so we could either make this taller and go up four by four or four cubes high and now there's two panels two full panels and you can see the edge fits nicely on the edge of the, the geometry or we can just go ahead and texture this with something different like this little guy all right so just don't leave uh, random you know edges cut off that's really the only rule when it comes to texturing um, and everything else is up to you all right there's not a lot of uh, guidelines I can give you besides it just takes practice and good judgment to see what what works and what doesn't what looks good and what doesn't um, I could tell you uh, that you could either choose a texture pack like you can cho choose this gold texture pack you could use the textures from Ryzen you could use the track 5 texture pack alright usually sticking to a single texture pack is a better idea because they all obviously match each other because they're also part of the same pack um, but if you're going to use random textures try and go ahead and pick out a little random spot in your map and start texturing cubes alright so say I really like this texture I'm going to want to pick other textures that sort of go along with it so this texture that doesn't really make sense All right, that's a metal texture it's very dark as opposed to this lighter concrete texture so we might want to go along with something like this instead and even this one here and this one here no nah, that doesn't really fit to me uh... it's a little pink and we got more gray colors here um, so yeah there's not a lot i can really uh... tell you as far as texturing it's just up to your creativity 